So if you are an international student interested in studying in Finland, you're most likely also interested in working part-time alongside your studies. But what kind of jobs are international students able to do in Finland while studying without any Finnish language skills? Well, in this video we're going to go through the best part-time jobs for international students that do not require any kind of Finnish language skills. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Oliver here. And welcome back to the Aalto University campus here in Otaniemi and specifically to the Aalto University City School of Business right here behind me. Uh, this is actually where I graduated from a few years ago. Let's go inside and talk about the topic of the day. Alright, so first, if you study at a university, you might be able to apply for exam guard duty. So exam guards or exam supervisors are needed for pretty much every single university exam, as professors do not usually have the time to supervise their own exams. This is why many universities in Finland hire their own students as invigilators or exam supervisors alongside their faculty assistants. Uh, the job is actually pretty simple. Uh, the exam supervisors are in charge of making sure that uh, the exam participants know how to conduct themselves and that there is no cheating or plagiarism. Uh, supervisors also assist exam participants with all kinds of exam related pr practicalities and safety as well as make sure to identify every exam participant to make sure that only those allowed are participating in the exams. Uh, since university exams usually last for around three hours, the guard duty may last up to four and a half hours each time, but this will of course depend on the school and the exam in question. The pay will also vary quite heavily and you will need to check your university for more information. So to apply for exam guard duty, make sure to follow your university mailing lists for any updates or ask your professor about the right person to contact for more information. So next, there are a ton of great summer jobs available for students each year in in their fields of study. Companies all across Finland and all across all different kinds of fields offer summer jobs for students with all types of levels from junior positions all the way up to more senior associates positions. In addition to private companies and organizations, universities are also a great place to look for summer jobs as a student. These jobs can range from research assistant positions to marketing all the way to different administrative roles. So do note that most summer jobs in Finland are advertised from December to March or around April uh, but to also know that many of these jobs go fast, so please do not leave your application to the last minute. Uh, you can find and apply for summer jobs from all kinds of job websites, as well as from university career pages. I actually have a separate video listing all the best job websites in Finland that you can check out right here, so make sure to watch that video after finishing this first. All right, so next we have research course teaching or lab assistant jobs at your specific university. So depending on the university and uh, faculty in question, these kinds of part-time opportunities are usually available all around the year. And uh, university assistant jobs are some of the best part-time opportunities that you will have for a few reasons. Number one, they can support your own studies because you will get more hands-on experience in your field. Two, these jobs are located at the university, so they're, they're really easy to combine with your own studies. Three, universities usually pay pretty well considering the difficulty of the job. And four, university assistant jobs are really well appreciated by recruiters and hiring managers, even outside the academic world. So working as a university assistant is a great update to your CV. You can usually find announcements about research assistant jobs on your university websites and email lists. However, if you are interested in a certain topic or project, I would suggest that you reach out to the professor or students involved in them directly. So talking about living in Finland, if you're coming to Finland to do your bachelor's or master's degrees, specifically here in the Helsinki capital region, I really recommend that you check out the student apartments from today's sponsor, which is HOAS. So HOAS, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is the largest student housing provider in the capital region, and they build and maintain over 10,000 student apartments, just like those ones in this building right here behind me. The really cool thing about HOAS is that not only are their student apartments really affordable, but they're also extremely well located, 
when it comes to commuting to the different university campuses in the capital region. Case in point, this new student apartment building being built here in the Kalasatama district is going to be in a central location just 200 meters from the closest metro station. So this means that if you get to live in this apartment building when it's ready, it will take you only 10 to 30 minutes to commute to any of the big university campuses around the capital region. Hoas is continuously building new student apartments around the capital region, providing even more apartments for students like you. Anyways, more information about Hoas through the links in the description box below. Alright, so next up we have mail or newspaper delivery. So this job includes sorting and delivering the mail on your specific delivery route. The job can be done either by car, delivery cart, bicycle or with an electric scooter provided by the post or your employer. So this is a great job for anyone who is a morning person as most shifts start either in the middle of the night or very early in the morning. Uh, for example, mail delivery at Posti starts by 6.30 a.m. The working hours will vary depending on the day of the week as well as your own workstation and assignment. Uh, mail delivery is a flexible job that allows for a good amount of hours without necessarily disturbing your school or lecture attendance. However, uh, because of the hours, this is not the job for everyone, but still it's uh, good money with quite a bit of flexibility. Plus you of course get to spend a lot of time outdoors. More information on delivery jobs on Posti's website, link in the description box below. So next up we have restaurant jobs. Uh, so there are many restaurants that are able to hire students for part-time positions without any Finnish language skills. Uh, these jobs are usually quite simple and involve dishwashing, working the cashier, packaging customer portions, uh, for example in takeaway lunch restaurants, as well as other random kitchen work. There are plenty of jobs like this available, but before applying for a job in the field, there are a few things that you have to take into account. So first, in order to work in a restaurant in general, you will need to apply for a hygiene passport, which is a certificate showing that you can work with foodstuff with proper hygiene. It's a simple enough certificate to get, and it should not be a problem for any of you. More information about hygiene passports through the links below. Second, while there are plenty of jobs available in restaurants, there are, of course, also plenty of spaces that do not hire people without Finnish language skills or a relevant degree. So for example, most fine dining restaurants and uh, more high and bars will require their staff to hold a proper degree in the food or hospitality fields and uh, their staff consists of professional chefs, waiters and bartenders with actual multi-year degrees in the field. So when applying for a job in the restaurant field, focus on the more daily restaurants like takeaway lunch restaurants or fast food places because these do not usually require you to have a degree in the hospitality or food industries to work. Also, one more thing to remember is that unfortunately there are restaurant owners in Finland, you know, as well in, as in any other country, who are trying to A, exploit inexperienced workers by paying way too little per hour, or B, outright break the law by paying salaries in cash without ever paying the proper employer costs like pension or and social security payments. So please note that getting paid in cash is extremely rare in Finland and it's often tied to tax avoidance. So if someone offers to pay you in cash, your alarm bells should go off and uh, you have to make sure that everything is legit by asking your employer to get a printed payslip each month with all the necessary employment payments and taxes listed. You should also know that if you are considering getting paid in cash to avoid taxes, uh, this is highly illegal and you can actually get into a lot of trouble for it. All right, so the next part-time jobs for students are cleaning jobs. The nature of cleaning jobs can of course vary heavily depending on the company and your assignment. These can be anything between cleaning restaurants or offices to cleaning metro stations using industrial cleaning machines. In addition, there are a ton of great companies that offer house cleaning services. You know, cleaning jobs come in many different formats. Uh, for example, my first ever summer job as a teenager was actually a cleaning job at the Finnish parliament building. So that was, you know, really tough, but also quite nice and fancy. And it actually paid quite well. You can apply to work in a number of cleaning companies directly through their websites. And I have a few linked in the description box below. All right, so the next part-time job well suited for students is food delivery. So food delivery is pretty much the most popular part-time job among students because of their flexible working hours and uh, relatively high pay. So the most popular food delivery companies in Finland are Volt, which is actually a Finnish company, as well as Foodora. And uh, both offer great opportunities for students who want to work according to their own schedule. I do note that people 
people do food delivery in many different ways. And uh, while having a driver's license is a plus, I should note that owning a car is a big investment in Finland, especially for a food delivery job. In fact, depending on your car, your car payments, taxes and gas might actually be more expensive than what you make from your job in food delivery. So please do the math before investing into a car in order to start delivering. Instead of a car, I would actually recommend that you consider getting a secondhand bike an electric scooter, a one wheel or some other type of an electric vehicle that you can drive on bike lanes. There's actually a couple of reasons to invest into an electric vehicle instead of a car. Number one, they are much cheaper than a car. Two, you don't have to worry about parking. And three, they're actually usually much faster when delivering food in city centers compared to cars. Anyways, more information on Volts and Foodoros websites. Links in the description box below. So next I have something a bit different, but also super exciting, which is becoming a blogger or vlogger for your university. So a ton of universities in Finland have recognized the value of having their own students share their study experiences on social media. So schools like Aalto University and uh, University of Oulu have started hiring their own students as bloggers and vloggers in order for them to share their own experiences and tips to new and prospective students. As a fun fact, this channel was actually originally sponsored by Aalto University and I did collaborate with Aalto for quite many years while finishing my studies. As a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Aalto University anymore. The reason why I'm filming from the Aalto University campus nowadays is because we actually have our company offices here on the campus and it's just, you know, an easy way for me to film and show a bit more context for you guys. But again, I'm not affiliated with Aalto anymore. So not only was working with Aalto an awesome part-time job, but it also paid rather well while building this channel while also allowing me to learn a ton of valuable skills that have actually been extremely useful in my current career. So if you are interested in becoming a blogger or vlogger at your university, do contact your university marketing team or check the university career pages for such opportunities. Oh, and by the way, since you are interested in looking for a job in Finland, next I recommend that you check out this video where I show you all the best websites for job hunting in Finland. See you in the next one. Bye.